And welcome back. We are learning more about the Chinese New Year and our objective today is I can describe the origin of the Chinese zodiac, identify my zodiac animal, and understand its significance. That's a lot of information that maybe you're confused about, which is why our lesson is called Year of the What? The Chinese Zodiac. Well, first and foremost, let me congratulate you and say Happy Year of the Ox. But what does that mean? For nearly 5,000 years, the Chinese culture has organized time in cycles of 12 years. This Eastern calendar is based upon the movement of the moon as compared to our calendar, which follows the sun, and is symbolized by the zodiac circle. An animal that has unique qualities represents each year. Therefore, if you're born in a particular year, then you share the personality of that animal. Now people worldwide celebrate this two week long festival in the early spring and enjoy the start of another Chinese New Year. So in our zodiac circle, we have currently landed on the year of the ox. So this year, right at the top here, is the year of the ox and we celebrate people who have qualities of the ox. But there's lots of animals in our world, not just these 12. So where did these 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac calendar originate from? Well, let's learn what's so special about these 12. Every Lunar New Year is always represented by one of 12 animals in the Chinese Zodiac, chosen by the Jade Emperor of China centuries and centuries ago. According to legend, a long time ago in China, the Jade Emperor held a great race. The first 12 animals to reach his palace would be the winners, and they would each get a year named after them in their honor. During the race, the ox was winning until he had to cross a rushing river. The rat was right behind him and couldn't swim very well. So the kind ox let the rat ride on his back. As soon as they got to the other side, the rat jumped off and scurried to the finish line to win the race first. That's why the first year in the Chinese zodiac calendar is the year of the rat. 11 other animals reached the palace to create the 12 year cycle of the Chinese zodiac. Said that the animal your birth year is named after can shape your personality and destiny. You might be honest like a dragon or smart like a monkey. When your animal takes its turn in the zodiac cycle, legend has it that your year will be full of surprises. But no matter which animal you are, everyone is excited to honor these ancient traditions, even in modern New Year celebrations. Just like yesterday, you're going to be taking some notes today because on Seesaw, you're going to show what you know about the zodiac animal that represents you. And we're going to go in order and talk about not only the ox, because it is the year of the ox, but the animals that represent you and your classmates and even your teacher on the Chinese zodiac calendar. When it comes to your zodiac animal, you're going to be responsible for writing down four words two words that are positive traits about your zodiac animal and two words that are not so positive traits about your zodiac animals. So let's break down how to describe each of these animals and let's start with our star of the show, the year of the ox. You'll see in this box a lot of words that supposedly describe people who were born during this year on the zodiac calendar. They're honest, hardworking, patient, careful, family oriented, but they also have some not so awesome features about themselves like being stubborn or poor communicators. All of these years listed are years that people in the year of the ox are born. And if you're looking for examples of people who are born in the year of the ox, look no further. We have Barack Obama and Malala who are both people born in the year of the ox. But let's talk about a year that maybe you were born in. If you were born in 2010, get your paper and pencil out, it's time to take notes because all my 2010 babies, you were born in the year of the tiger. Some words that describe the tiger, they are brave, respected, quick, active, intelligent. If you're writing down positive words, choose two of those positive words to write down. But we also have some not so positive traits to describe the tiger. They're also known to be show-offs, a little too confident, and 
hasty. So pick two of those words that would describe the not so positive traits of being in the year of the tiger. Some examples of tigers, we have Shawn Mendes and Lady Gaga who were both born during one of the years listed on this slide. But maybe you were born in the year 2011 instead. If you're born in 2011, congratulations, you are the year of the rabbit. Remember, we're writing down two positive traits about this year and two not so positive traits about this year as well. Here are some words to describe rabbits. They're gentle, sensitive, caring, modest, which means that they don't like to brag, very welcoming and peaceful. But two words that describe maybe the negative traits of a rabbit is that they're stubborn, much like the ox, and they're reserved, meaning that maybe they're a little bit more shy. Here are some people that are also born in the year of the rabbit. We have Little Nas and Michelle Obama. Now you may not be born in these years, so I might speed through these a little bit more, but let's talk about the other years on the zodiac calendar, like the dragon. If you're born in 2012, or any of these other years, you're the year of the dragon, much like Martin Luther King Jr. was, and Shakira. Next on the zodiac calendar, we have the year of the snake. And who are some people born in the year of the snake? Well, I know you definitely recognize one of them as Mrs. Houston, who was born in the year of the snake, as well as Billie Eilish. And doesn't it make sense? I mean, Mrs. Houston is so wise and sympathetic. Completely makes sense for the year of the snake. Next on the calendar is the year of the horse, represented by people like Joe Biden and Kobe Bryant, who are energetic, bright, warm-hearted, but also might be known to be impatient or have a bad temper. Next, we have the year of the sheep. Some people born in the year of sheep include Ed Sheeran and Kevin Hart, gentle and calm souls, but also moody and artistic. We also have the year of the monkey, the year of the monkey represent people who are clever and flexible, maybe witty and lively, but they also might be a little jealous and sneaky. Some of the people who are born in the year of the monkey include Will Smith and Selena Gomez. And <clears throat> the best year of all, wouldn't you agree? I'm just messing with you. But next we have the year of the rooster, who are characterized by people who are observant and hardworking, healthy. I'm not quite sure about that. But if you were born in any of these years, you could be like Mrs. Boswell or myself. Now, in your seesaw assignment, you're going to get an opportunity to share whether or not you agree with your zodiac animal. Like, for example, I'm born in the year of the rooster, and I agree that I'm a hardworking person, but you know what I'm not? I'm not a very healthy person. I don't work out very much. I don't like to eat healthy that often. So that might not be a word I totally agree with. I'm not very brave either. I get scared super easily. So on Seesaw, you'll get a chance to show whether or not you agree with your Zodiac animal. But let's hold on to that thought and let's finish out our Zodiac calendar. Next, we have the year of the dog. People who are loyal, brave, and smart, but also could be irritable and anxious. Some people born in the year of the dog include Donald Trump and famous comic book writer Stan Lee. We have the year of the pig next. We have people who are calm and strong hearted, but maybe a little impulsive, maybe mischievous. Some people who are born in the year of the pig include Mariah Carey and Indina Menzel, who plays Elsa in Frozen. Finally, the last year on our Zodiac calendar is the year of the rat. And 2020, this past year was the year of the rat. The rats represented by curiosity and imagination, but they're also very cautious and serious. Some people who were born in the year of the rat include Christian Ronaldo and of course LeBron James, as you can see here. So what does this look like on Seesaw today? Well, you're gonna be responsible for filling out two slides. And I also gave you examples of what it should look like. So you'll have something to go off of, but let's go into detail about what your instructions are. You have your list of animal icons and your responsibility is to drag the animal of your birth year into the box. Next to the animal, type its name in the box as well. You'll also see two columns, one for strengths, one for weaknesses. You are responsible for taking notes during this video and writing down four words that described your zodiac animal. 
two words that were positive and two words that were negative. And in each of the box, you'll write down one of the four words that you studied from the video. On your second slide is your chance to share if you agree or disagree about your zodiac animal's personality. So you'll fill in the sentences that are on the slide. I was born in blank, and that's when you write the year that you were born in. This is the year of the blank, and that's where you'll write your zodiac animal. My zodiac sign is correct because, and you'll complete the sentence, and my zodiac sign is not correct because, and you'll complete the sentence again. Do you need some examples of what that might look like? Well, for example, I was born in 1993, which is the year of the rooster. So I dragged the icon of the rooster down. I shared two strengths of the rooster that was inside the video. They're hardworking, they're healthy, but I also shared two weaknesses. They're boastful, which means that they brag a lot, and they're attention seekers. I filled in the prompts. I was born in 1993. This is the year of the rooster. My zodiac sign is correct because I chose one of the words that I wrote down that I agreed with. The zodiac says that roosters are hard workers and I know that I'm also a hard worker. It also says that they are attention seekers and I do like to be the center of attention. My zodiac sign is not correct because the zodiac says that roosters are usually healthy and I have a lot of unhealthy habits. It also says that they are brave and I get scared very easily. Your expectation is to have at least one example of a word that fits or does not fit for you, but notice that I did more than one example. Go into as much detail as you want, but your expectation is to have at least one for each of the sentence starters. So now it's your turn. Add a response and show us what you know about your zodiac animal.